Today is a big day because I have all these holes in my bus, which if I was doing this whole build in a logical manner, I would have covered up a long time ago so that I don't have to redo the paint, but I didn't. Been not getting this done because of my own poor planning, but today Morgan said that he would help me patch them up. He should be getting off work soon, I think. I'm gonna get these holes all covered and then I can mount my lights and then I can finally finish the outside if I want to. Most importantly, my bus will finally be like weather proof. So every time it rains, I don't have to wake up in the middle of the night and worry that my bus is getting flooded. What are you doing here? Hey, if you're on the property, you have to be part of the movie. This is untrue. Delete this footage. <laughs> Get the hell off my property. You shut up, you stupid idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's the tiniest bus. Well, it's not the tiniest. It's a medium it's bus. It's short, I mean. Got it? Yep. Welding party. One. You want to learn how to weld? I'm clearing the space. Person just pulled up. I think pizza is here. What? Pizza break? Huh? Pizza break? is not done. We ran out of time and daylight, but I got like this cool new gadget in the mail yesterday, so I wanna try it now. Somebody left a comment telling me to get these solder and seal connectors. So they have these little, like they have a little bit of solder already in them right there. So then I just point a heat gun at it and it melts and this thing shrinks, and then I don't have to crimp the wires, I guess. So I'm kind of excited to see if it works.
Okay, that was really cool. I don't know if it worked, but it seemed cool. You're supposed to constantly rotate it while you're heating it. I don't think I managed that part very well. Should I see if it worked? Okay, headlights are on. Those ones aren't. Huh, I need the key on or something? I am confused. None of the lights around the top were turning on, I don't think. Maybe I should do this at night when I can actually tell. Well, that thing, that soldery thing you seemed to work at least. And it was fun. So if I ever figure out how to do this, I can do some more. Tiny dog? Tiny dog, are you gonna make my life harder today? Is that a yes? Always a yes. Morgan finished welding yesterday. Not completely, but the sides at least. So right now I'm going to work on doing some body filler and redoing the paint so that I can put my lights back. So step one, sanding. Ugh, just sanding away all my hard work. There we go. Next step is to clean it. Ugh, looks like snot. Does anyone else think the instructions on this stuff are kind of funny? It says to mix a golf ball sized blob of stuff with an inch and a quarter strip of hardener. That just seems really like, I don't know, kind of imprecise, kind of like makes me suspicious that somebody who doesn't know what they're doing wrote those instructions. Like I feel like that's the kind of thing I would write. Like it feels like, it just reminds me of any time if I do something wrong, my brother would say, well, how did you do it? And I'd be like, uh, I mixed like a golf ball size with a with an inch and a quarter of a a line of hardener, and he would be like, "What?" Okay, one golf ball. I bought this thing to mix, but then the guy on the YouTube I watched said he wanted to do it on a flat surface, so I'm gonna use the bottom. Ooh, how big is a golf ball? I do not golf. Forgot to need the putty. The hardener. Cream hardener. Okay. Inch and a quarter. This is not the same color as the one that the guy in the video used. I think I've used this before though. Pretty sure this is what I used to fill up all the holes in my kitchen cabinets. They look fine, I mean, not great, but. So, the camera died right when I was finishing mixing the filler. But, I then realized I only sanded and prepared one because I like wanted to like make sure I knew what I was doing on one and then do the rest. So dumb, I realized my golf ball size thing was enough for the whole entire side and I hadn't prepared it, so I just slapped it on anyway. But I just googled it and it said you can put Bondo over paint. So I'm just gonna hope it's fine. And if not, I'll just start over. Really don't have much to lose here. But while I'm waiting for it to dry, I am going to actually sand and clean the rest that still need filled. Might as well do 
Might as well do it right where I can still. Okay, that was starting to really remind me of doing drywall mud, which I I don't hate drywall mud, but I am not good at it. Like, my best efforts produce a result that is like barely acceptable even for me, and I have low standards. Luckily, my standards are just as low for this. So, let's see how it looks. I'm honestly like not at all concerned with it being like a perfectly smooth, perfect finish, which is good because it won't be. Yeah, pretty sure I'm gonna be satisfied with this. And the internet said that it only needs to dry for 15 or 20 minutes before you start sanding, which means I can already stand. I can already sand this side. Oh yeah, that is pretty crunchy. <laughs> like pretty happy with this especially this one it looks really good you know it's probably gonna be a lot more like the change in texture is gonna probably be a lot more noticeable once I paint it but I do not think I'm gonna have a problem with this at all so I think I'm gonna finish up the rest of these and do the other side and then I can get some paint on there sanding is all done but I've just realized that I think I want to drill the holes for the new lights before I paint. So let's just hope right now that I don't F this up. Okay, so I have three holes I need to drill. I've drawn this line that is straight and parallel to this rail thingy. Honestly, I don't really see how I could mess this up that badly. But that kind of information usually only becomes obvious once I've already done it, <laughs> so we'll see. Oh, I'm nervous. I guess luckily if this turns out terribly, all I have to do is like rebondo it. It's not like I'm doing this to a car. Okay. Definitely not dead center on where it was before, but I don't think it matters. A little bit bigger. Perfect. Wake up, Virginia, is your daddy home? Is your daddy home? Is your daddy home? Did you turn off the light? 
job it still feels too soon to have to mess with this stuff again my paintbrush is a little crunchy I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save this I'm just gonna see if it works mm, fairly terrible I didn't change my clothes to my paint clothes Pretty sure I'm not gonna make it out of this day without getting paint on these clothes. Okay, I gotta do something with this paintbrush. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna let this soak and eat some lunch. I was unable to salvage that paintbrush. Kind of a bummer, so I just bought this really crappy one. Hopefully it works. I don't really know what the difference is between a crappy paintbrush and a good paintbrush. You're asking for another one. You're asking for a way to spend the night. You're asking for another one. Well, that was not so bad. Plus, I think I managed to do that without getting a single drop of paint on my clothes. Look how good it looks. Oh, I love it. I just want to sit here and take it in for a minute because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like how it looks quite as much once the lights are mounted. Okay. I am hoping that this last bit will be pretty easy. I'm pretty happy with it and also it's like one o'clock and I already did everything I wanted to get done today I already did it so I could start on a whole new thing if I wanted to I'm excited though one step closer to spray foam Tiny dog, jeez. Trying to ruin my shot. <laughs>